Today I'm going to talk to you about the freeze region video effect. Now this effect is really great for cutting out mistakes that may happen like pop-ups, uh, things that appear, dialogues that you don't want in your recording. Now while you could just re-record that section, it's a lot easier now after Camtasia 2.4 to just use the freeze region effect to get rid of those. Now let me show you three examples of how I use it and different ways you might want to, to tweak the effect. So in my first example, I have a meeting reminder pop up over here, which is unfortunate. Now it, it's not really in the same area that I'm that I'm talking, so um, it's not that big of a deal, but it, it is could be distracting to my viewers, which I really don't want. So let me go up to video effects grab the freeze region effect, drag that onto my canvas, and you notice that there's this circle with this X in the middle, and that's where you need to drag the effect. If you drag anywhere else, you'll be moving your, your media behind it. So I will drag this box to cover and resize to cover that up. Now you notice nothing happened, and that's because what it is doing is it's grabbing the first frame of where the effect starts. So if I go to the very first frame, you can see that this dialogue or this pop-up is still there. So let me move my playhead to a place in my video before that appears great. And I'll just drag the edge of the freeze region effect to the playhead and then let me check afterwards. And it's still there. So let me find out. Okay, so it disappears there. And I'll drag the end. Now when I play it back, I don't see the pop-up at all. All right, for the next next example, you may notice that on this web page I'm on, there is this carousel up here that keeps changing. Now, for the most part, I'm not talking about up here. I'm talking about down here. So any movement that's going on somewhere else on my screen is going to grab my viewer's attention, and that's not what I want. I want them to be looking down here. Now, I, I will... Uh, add a zoom so that they're more focused down here, but I believe this part will still be showing. So I need to add the the freeze region, and it's important to add the freeze region before you add the animation. So let's look at that right now. So here I've got this area right here. So there's actually three screens. This one, this one, and this one. Now because it does span all of this and actually goes over this one freeze region, uh, I have a problem because I can't have two freeze regions on the screen at the same time. So what I'm going to do is actually just use the same freeze region that I have here and extend it. So first of all, let me figure out where I want it to end. So here, this is where I want it. I want it to, be, to show this. So let me just extend that freeze region all to the end. Let me hop over to the beginning, and I don't want this one. I want only want the one at the end, so I will drag my freeze region effect all the way to the beginning of my recording. Now I'll also drag the edges to include everything that's that's up there. Now, in my example, this really doesn't matter um, that I'm including everything because nothing up here changes that I that I care about. So as I preview that. That looks good. Now you notice my my pop-up still is gone because I've got that covered. However, the problem is that I'm showing the first frame, but I, what I really want is to show this over here. So with the freeze region selected, make sure that you've got the properties open, and then click on the freeze end frame. And what this will do, it will grab the frame from the end of the effect and show it. So now the entire time just shows what's here at the end. All right, I did mention that I would want to add a zoom, and let me show you how easy that is with with freeze region. So let's say uh, about right here is where I want to zoom in. Animation, zoom in and reposition that. Now you notice that the freeze region actually stays tied to the media. I don't need to reanimate it or whatever as long as I've added it before. All right, so for the last example, at the very end, I show an application in this example, Snagit. 
Now in applications, you may notice that sometimes when you hover over a particular part, it pops up this little helpful tip or a label. That's called a tool tip. These are very great, but sometimes if it's not what you're talking about, it can be distracting. Again, motion or other things that, that, that appear, grab your viewer's attention. And if it's something different than where you want them to focus, this is a bad thing. Now normally I I would have to like cut this out and copy it and paste over from a different area, but with video effects just add the, the freeze region. Pick where I want it to start, where I want it to end. Good enough. And now that pop-up is gone. And it's not distracting my viewers anymore. So there are three ways that I use the freeze region effect. Uh, there are many other ways that you can probably uh, think of. There, there are several properties I didn't go over, like invert. It will freeze everything but the box. Uh, you can actually rotate the, the, the rectangle. You can freeze an oval instead of a, a rectangle, which gives you more flexibility. You can, you can change the opacity, the fuzziness of the edges. Uh, you can round it out you can fade it in and out at the beginning or the end so there's lots and lots of things that you can do with freeze region very flexible and very very helpful